over 6.5 million electric vehicles were sold in 2021. That's 108% more than were sold in 2020. The increase in demand has already permanently changed the car manufacturing landscape, with almost all major motor vehicle companies now working on electric production lines. Electric vehicles do have less moving parts than their ICE counterparts, but making them is still extremely complex. From stators and rotors to intricate wiring harnesses, LMI is involved with many EV manufacturing applications. But the heart of an EV, its battery, is where machine vision solutions have become essential to market success. EV battery manufacturing can be broken up into four general steps. Electrode manufacturing, cell packaging, cell to module assembly, and module to pack assembly. Gokator 3D sensors and their built-in onboard tools are used in every stage of this process. Let's look at electrode manufacturing first. During this step, Gokators are used to ensure uniform shape and thickness of the electrode as the slurry is applied. Sensors are also used to measure the distance between tabs on a cell sheet. Tolerances are extremely small for these applications, so high resolution, small field of view sensors are used. Two of the most common cell types used in electric vehicles are cylindrical and prismatic. Cylindrical cells are rigorously tested for any dents or scratches on the cell body. Prismatic batteries are first measured for gap and flush along a weld line. After welding, they are inspected again to ensure that the weld seam is uniform and within tolerances. I spoke with James Ma, our technical service manager in Shanghai, to learn more about this application. When they put the uh, materials into the battery cell, they need to seal the lid of the battery cell with very fine welding process. Uh, that is make sure that there's no leakage and there's no uh, defects on the welding. Otherwise, there will be a risk when they put the cell into the car. The dimension of the welding seam is only like three or five millimeter wide. So we pick our high resolution, high speed sensor which is 2520 to do the measurement. For the battery cell, it has a shiny surface. So if you use a blue line laser, it has less reflection from these surfaces. So the data quality looks better. When we have a new customer, for example, from the EV battery market, we are not only trying to sell them the product we have, we are looking for a long-term partnership. We actually have our engineers go into their production line and talk to their engineers and see what specifically the problem is. Uh, from our observation, the customer really appreciates this because they are talking to someone that really understands the problem they are, they are facing. Once the individual battery cells are inspected for quality control, a set number of them are precisely grouped together, forming a battery module. An example application for module inspection is for sensors to measure the spaces between individual cells. Finally, gokators are used at the last stage of the process, combining modules into a single battery pack, ready to be installed into a new electric vehicle. EV battery production continues to rapidly grow around the world. LMI is not only supporting the current industry, but actively developing next-generation sensors, specifically designed to meet future battery production needs. Check out our website at lmi3d.com to see what our all-in-one sensor technology can do for your application.